Next is the cultivation. First of all, the degree of cultivation is a central component of our brand image. You can go anywhere in the world and tell people you work for BMW. And immediately, their eyes light up and you can sense their respect. I think that's part of BMW's success, that it's managed to put its attributes across so strongly and anchor them so firmly in the public mind. Well, customers are looking for fixed points to orient themselves on and, let's say, can also trust in. Makes of cars have a great potential here. In choosing a car, drivers are professing to certain values, and BMW offers them modernity and driving pleasure as an expression of its success. That's an emotional added value that can often clinch the deal. The fun of driving, the experience of a bond, feeling at one with your BMW, for me that's one of the major arguments. When you ask people, BMW drivers, what it is that fascinates them about BMW, then it's more the emotional side, not so much a rational feeling that they can describe. We want to offer our customers the fulfillment of a dream. We want them to have the feeling of sitting in a car that they've dreamed up themselves, have always wanted, and in which they'll embark on journeys and meet the challenges that life poses. So in communicating the message, we rely on the emotional associations with the brand. For example, sailing or golf or Formula One events as part of our sports marketing. And of course, overall, in all our activities, a strong market presence and one could also say brand penetration power are essential. Brand names have a greater emotional value. For example, many of our customers say that our cars make them feel younger than they really are. BMW is a fountain of youth.